Monday is International Literacy Day, but according to the Department of Education, 32 million adults in the U.S. can't read, making it difficult for them to get a job and care for their families. 10 News anchor Steve Atkinson shows us how a San Diego woman is trying to change that and outsmart poverty one book at a time. It starts here in the middle of a busy park, a tent packed with kids. Learning to read and transported to another time and place through a book. I'm better in literacy at school, like in language arts, and reading is fun. It's like you're in a whole new other world. It's called Traveling Stories, a simple idea from Emily Moberly, an avid reader herself who noticed something interesting one day at the farmer's market. Kids just wandering around bored while their parents shopped. And I thought this could be a really interesting place. The kids are already here. Why not set up a story tent? So she did. And the kids just kept coming. So many, she's got an army of volunteers now and an entire warehouse full of books. And they did a survey and found the reading levels of kids who attend traveling stories are going up in schools. So this is like a ritual. It's become an every Saturday thing where we come to the farmer's market. She reads, gets really excited to be around other kids and collects her little book bucks. Book bucks. That's the hook. For every book a child reads, they get a book buck. The kids save them up to buy everything from pencils to skateboards to pod race tickets. There actually is a practical benefit and reward for investing in your mind and your imagination. Emily, on behalf of 10 News and Lead San Diego, we're proud to present you with the 10 News Leadership Award. Congratulations, Emily. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Teaching literary skills and helping empower children to do and become whatever they want in life. Yet neither Emily nor her volunteers get paid a dime. Knowing that you're making a difference in someone's life and a difference in the community and in the world, I mean, that's a purpose that I think a lot of people wish they had in their job. Steve Atkinson, 10 News.